Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video we will learn how to display the user progress in three possible ways. So keep on watching. So the first one is the user page shortcode. In this given example we can see that this shortcut displays the whole quiz history for a specific user. So here the user will be able to see uh, the quiz information, the questions in which the he or she answered right or wrong, uh, the score, uh, the duration, etc. And also uh, the user will be able to export this detail into PDF file. Uh, this information is based on a particular quiz. So for example, if I'll pass this quiz, uh, at the end we will see that my results will be, uh, will be displayed in the user page shortcode. So let's go and refresh this page. And here it is. My result is already here. You can see that I have passed the quiz in 7 seconds, uh, I got all the answers wrong, <laughs> uh, but you must be careful in this case, and so on. First of all, note that you will need to have already created a quiz so that the users can pass it and then see the progress for each quiz. Uh, so for creating a quiz, I will give you a short tutorial here. Uh, firstly, you will need to go to the question submenu, then click on the add new button for creating your questions. But as you can see, I have already created mine. Uh, let's just click on there and see what we, you can do here. Uh, you will be able to choose the question type, add uh, right or wrong answers, uh, and so on. Then click on the save and close button and your uh, quiz question will already be created. Uh, if all the questions are created, you will need to go to the quizzes submenu and again click on the add new button for creating your first quiz. But again, here I have already created mine, so we will click on the IQ test quiz. Uh, here you can see that for adding the questions, you will need just to click on the add questions button and choose the question and click on the select questions button. Uh, so besides adding the questions into the quiz, note that you will need to uh, categorize the category of your quiz as well. Here you can see the category option and all the possible uh, quiz categories. This part is very important in case of using the user page shortcut. You will see why, so keep on watching and make sure to not miss any part here. So firstly, for creating a quiz category, you will need to go to the quiz category submenu click on the add new button but again to save our time i have already created one so just click on the personality quiz uh, and here we can see that we'll need to add the title of our category and in case we have a description the description as well here we can see that we have a special shortcut here and the quiz category id remember this id because you will need to pass it in the shortcut as well but do not panic, I will show you how to do it together. Good. Now the most interesting and important part here. It's time for us to use the user page shortcut. So for finding the user page shortcut, move to the general settings submenu, then go to the shortcuts tab, scroll a little bit down and here you will find the user page settings. Here is our shortcut. You can see that here we have your quiz category ID. As you may have already remember, our quiz category ID was 3. So here we will need to write 3. We can see that we have the following options. Hide correct answer so that if this option is ticked, the users will not be able to see the correct answer as it was displayed at the beginning of the, of the video. Also, here we have the user page results table. These are all the fields that the user will see in the detailed report uh, as it was shown again at the beginning of the video. Another interesting point here that I would like to highlight is that as you can see the user will be able to see the country. You will be able to display the custom fields of your quiz uh, by just activating a simple option. 
Now let's go to the custom fields. If you don't know how to use the custom fields, make sure to watch this video which will help you to create your custom field and get the needed information from your users. Now let's uh, go to the particular custom field and here we can see that we have the show custom field on your shortcodes option. Make sure to tick this option for activating and here we have the user page option. This is responsible for the user page shortcode. Make sure to activate it as well. And then you can see that the particular uh, custom field is added here. So in case I will activate this, the users will be able to see the, their country in the detailed report as well. So I guess that's all here. Now let's copy the uh, shortcut here, uh, then add it into any post or page, uh, change the, this field and add our category ID, in this case it's three, and click on the preview button for seeing our detailed report here. So here it is. Here is mine. Um, so as you can see, here I have the details, so I can see my um, duration, score, and so on. Also, I can export it into the PDF file. It will look like this. I guess it's so I guess here we have already covered the most important things for using the user page shortcut. Now it's time to see what is the second way to see the user progress. Second possible option for us for displaying the user progress is the frontend statistics add-on. So for using this add-on, you will need to get it separately and note that it will work only with the pro versions of the plugin, that is with the business or developer version, or you can get the new agency package of the Quizmaker plugin, which uh, already includes the frontend statistics add-on in it, uh, next to other integrations and add-ons as well. So if you have already got the frontend statistics add-on and installed it in your WordPress, Let's move to the general settings tab and see which shortcodes are responsible for the add-on. Move to the shortcodes tab, scroll again a little bit down and at the end of the shortcodes you will see the quiz summary and question summary shortcodes. These two shortcodes are responsible for, for the frontend statistics add-on, so in case of installing the add-on, these two shortcuts will be added next to the other shortcuts as well. Here we can see that uh, here we have your quiz ID. So if in the first part of the video we have added the quiz category ID, here we will need to add the particular quiz ID here. Uh, as you may have remembered from our first part of the video, uh, after creating a quiz, the system generated a separate shortcut for us. And here we can see that 12 is our quiz ID. So we will need to add 12 um, so we will need to add 12 here for displaying the whole summary for the uh, for that particular quiz. Now, uh, so now let's copy this shortcode, uh, paste it into any post or page here, change your quiz ID and add our ID, in this case 12, click on the preview button and see what result we will have here. So that's it, this is how our frontend statistics add-on work. Here we can see that the charts display the uh, answers, uh, so it makes it easier for the user to see the progress. Uh, and I guess it's one of the best ways to visualize the results. So uh, this is for the quiz. We also have the question summary shortcode, which is responsible for displaying the summary for a particular question. So as you can see here, we have your question ID. So in this case, you will need to add only the question ID for which you want to see the results. For finding the question ID, you just need to go to the question sub menu or uh, go to your particular quiz and here you can see the IDs of the question. Uh, in this case, let's choose uh, 201 and copy our short code, paste it into any post or page again, change the ID, add hours and again click on the preview button 
and here we can see that uh, we can we, we are able to see the particular uh, statistics for a particular question so I guess that's all for the front-end statistics add-on so note that these two short codes are very important in case you want to display the user progress to the users in the most uh, eye-catching way let's say so I guess it's time to move to the final and the third part of our video so the last option here is using the Chartify plugin which will help us again to display the user progress in charts for that, all you need to do is to install and activate the Chartify plugin from WordPress and note that this option works both in free version, version with uh, the free version of the QuizMaker plugin and with the pro versions as well. So for connecting the QuizMaker plugin to the Chartify plugin, all we need to do is to click on the Edge New button, choose the, uh, the chart tab from the various chart types, let it be donut chart, then click on the next button. Here we can see that we have the get quizmaker data option. Here we, here we will need to choose the query, let it be um, uh, the number of times the current user has passed each quiz overall to see the whole result, then click on the show on chart uh, option. Here it is. This chart displays uh, the results uh, and the colors are uh, responsible for each part of this donut chart. Again, uh, if all the changes are done, just click on the save button and the system here again will generate a separate shortcut for us. The same is here. Copy the given shortcut, paste it into any post or page and uh, click on the preview button. Uh, for previewing the chart or publish it. Here it is. This is the last way for displaying the user progress in your front end and make it even more understandable for your users uh, their own progress. So I guess that's all for today. I hope this video was useful for you and now you know all three ways that are important for you for uh, making your users see their own progress in front end.